Hey folks, I'm going to show you how you can discover the IP address of your call pilot. Last week or a couple weeks ago, I made a video about um, you know connecting to your call pilot, uh, but that assumes that the factory IP address hasn't been changed. So if you, if the 10.10.10.1 whatever it is is not working, uh, you can discover what the IP address is with this. You'll need a tool like either HyperTerminal or Putty. I use Putty. Um, you'll need that cord that I just showed you in the beginning of the video, uh, that USB to serial cord. You'll need to connect the USB, obviously, to your laptop. You'll need to connect the, uh, the serial interface of that cord to the serial uh, port on your uh, call pilot. Um, you need to know what the serial port of your uh, USB to serial uh, adapter is going to be. Um, if you don't know, you can look under Device Manager and drill down to the LPT and COM ports and you'll see it in there. Um, you'll need to launch, so I'm going to launch PuTTY using serial port on COM4. Now, the way to do this is you need to shut off the voicemail. So basically just pull the power out of the voicemail. Then reapply the power. So with the PuTTY already started, reapply the power. And it takes about, oh, 25 seconds or so before you'll start getting um, the information you need. What's going to happen is as it boots up, it's going to start uh, relaying information to this PuTTY console. And one of the things it tells you as it's booting up, and I'll show you where, is the IP address. See, there it goes right there, 192.168.0.112. And uh, it shows you the mask in hexadecimal, but it's a pretty good bet that it's probably just, you know, the class C, 255, 255, 2550. And then, of course, it showed me the gateway. If you missed it, you should be able to scroll up with your putty. See the little sidebar here? You should be able to scroll back up and read the IP address. Now, technically speaking, you're supposed to be able to change the IP address during this boot up process. See this little line right here where it said to change or modify any of this, press any key within two seconds? You can do that. I'm not a big fan of that, and I'll tell you why. Because I was having some trouble with a unit, and I got to reading on some forums, and some people said that changing the IP address in this, uh, in this mode could cause some kind of corruption. So I say, look, once you know what it is, Take the information, run with it, go change the IP address on your laptop to put it in the same subnet as your as your uh, call pilot, and then just use a um, you know crossover cable or a switch, and then you know browse to it, change the IP address you know through the normal GUI browser interface uh, like I just showed you in my last video, and then uh, and then you're off the races. Anyway, so that's how you can uh, find out what the IP address is of the uh, call pilot. So, and at this point, all you got to do is just shut off PuTTY. You don't need to turn off the call pilot, um, and you can just uh, disconnect your serial cable. Okay, thanks for watching.